I mean, I'm a little nervous. I don't love needles, but um, I am uh, okay. Huh? Yep, we're alive. Yo, oh, boy. What is up, my friend? How's it going? I will be donating blood at MD Anderson in your honor, Jack. I'll be just fine. I'm kind of a big baby. <laughs> ah, that's not that bad. It was mostly painless. I'm dandy. You did great. Jack, nice hat, dude. <laughs> Thanks, you as well. <laughs> we look very similar right now. I'm uh, I'm here at the uh, blood center. We we are we're doing it, Jack. You have a checkup coming in soon, right? Yeah, so that's our two months. So every two months we do the follow up with the sarcoma doctor. So. Are you gonna try to make it out to the golf tournament this week? Tomorrow and Thursday. We'll plan on seeing you out there. A couple less bogeys would be always always good. Thank you again. Thank you and your wife yeah. for donating. Absolutely, more than happy to. See you tomorrow. They just lifted the ropes and were like, you want to walk inside? And then his caddy was like, you want to carry his bag? And so I caddied for him for the last like five holes. He was two under when we were watching. So there, I guess that was his good luck charm. We mainly talked about treatment and nothing really with golf, which was nice. I had over 10 blood transfusions during my treatment. And that's over the course of four months. The most important thing that him and his wife did was to donate blood. It's just super important for the clinics to have blood. You don't feel alone when you kind of hear a patient's story. He said, you know, hey, we're in this fight together and just keep going. And that's all you can do is to lift up and keep going.